So Meta, basically Facebook, has recently launched Llama 3, its next generation of large language model. Now it comes in two sizes, an 8 billion parameter version and a 70 billion parameter version. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how you can run it locally. Now we're going to be using the Llama 3 8 billion parameter version because of its size. Uh, a normal desktop or laptop isn't going to be able to run a 70 billion version. Now the 8 billion variety was trained using 1.3 million hours of GPU time and it has greater performance than Llama 2. For example, it's 34% better than the 7 billion parameter version of Llama 2 and 14% better than the 13 billion parameter version of Llama 2. So in an 8 billion parameter version, they've managed to exceed what was available in the 13 billion parameter version of Llama 2. In fact, it's only 8% worse than the 70 billion parameter version of Llama 2. So the 8 billion uh, version is absolutely amazing. And of course, we can extrapolate that up to the 70 billion version of Llama 3, which I'm sure we can have access to uh, online in these bigger uh, computers, then of course that's really quite an impressive large language model as well. Now the cutoff date for the knowledge of Llama 3 8 billion version is March of 2023 and it's slightly later December of 2023 for the 70 billion version. Now first of all we're going to be using LM Studio to run this uh, on Windows and then I'm going to show you how you can run it on a Raspberry Pi 5. So if you want to find out more please let me explain. Okay, to get started with LM Studio, go over to lmstudio.ai and then here on the home page, you have some download options. As you can see, it's available for the Macs using the new M processors, M1, M2, M3 are listed here. You can download it for Windows and there is a beta of an app image that you can download for Linux. Go ahead and click on the download that you want for your platform. And then once it's installed, you need to start up LM Studio. Okay, so here we are inside of LM Studio. Down the left here, you can access the different sections of the program. Here on the home page, it kind of tells you what those different sections are, plus it gives you a list of the most popular models that you can download. You can use the search box if you want to look for something else. Because of what we're looking at today is Llama 3. You can see that Llama 3 has just been added support to the program, so it's right here in the center. And I've already downloaded it. You need to click the download button there to uh, get it onto your computer. As I said, there are other models here that you can try out, including Google's uh, Gemma 2 billion parameter one. I've covered some of these uh, in other videos that I've made here on this channel, and you will find them on my uh, machine learning and AI playlist. Okay, once you've got the model downloaded, you need to go over to the chat function, which you click over here, and this gives you a kind of a chat interface, something similar to ChatGPT, where you can talk to the model, but of course you're talking to it locally. Now, one final thing before you do start chatting is you need to select the model. And if you have several models downloaded, you can pick them. So here I've got Llama 2 from a previous experiment because I want Llama 3 and that will load that then into memory. Now, some of the smaller models don't have very much information in them. So, for example, if you ask this question about Henry VIII to a smaller 2 billion parameter model, you won't get an answer. It doesn't know it. But here we can test to see the kind of the depth of the knowledge that Llama 3 has, even in this 8 billion parameter version. And there you go. It gives us the year in which Henry VIII was married there to Catherine of Aragon. Now, of course, I won't put it too much through its test here. This is a good evolution of what we saw with Llama 2. You know, you can ask it all the kind of standard questions about logic and so on. So, for example, here you go. Uh, I, on a shelf, there is a blue book, a red mug, a green keychain, a yellow notepad, a white candle and a gold photo frame. What color is the mug? Let's see whether it can pick that out of the sense. The mug is red with big red letters there. And here's a question I like to ask all of the LLMs that I am testing. From the following list of five movies, which one is the most similar to Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope? The Princess Bride, Father of the Bride, Planes, Trains and Automobiles, The Matrix and Gone with the Wind. After analysing the plot and themes of each movie, I'd say The Princess Bride is the most similar to it. Now, that's something that several other LLMs have said, and it's going to give you why... It's a classic adventure and it's going to give you all the reasons. It's a you know, fantastical world. Uh, both films, the Princess Bride set in medieval inspired landscapes set in a galaxy far, far away. So, you know, sometimes you'd think it, some of the elements pick the Matrix because they have the similar theme of it being sci-fi. But it's good that they all give different answers. And I like the reasoning that they give behind it. 
Now, another way to run Llama 3 locally is using the OO Llama project. Go over to oolama.com. And as you see here, it says you can run Llama 3, Minstrel, Gemma, and so on. Very similar to ML Studio. You hit the old download button here. Now it's available for Mac OS, for Linux, and for Windows. So I'm gonna be using Linux because I want to install this on my Raspberry Pi 5. All you do is you cut and paste this line here, which will download the install uh, script and then run it. You can view the script here if you want to double check exactly what's being run on your uh, Raspberry Pi. So here I am on my Pi 5, we just run that install script and it will go ahead and start uh, downloading it and installing it there on your system. Now back on the OO Llama website, it tells us a bit about Llama 3, uh, some of the information about its abilities and the different sizes. And it tells you here to run it, you run OO Llama run Llama 3 on the command line. So that's exactly what we're going to do back on our Raspberry Pi 5. So we go ahead and say OO Llama run Llama 3. Now I've done this before and it will go ahead and download the model first of all before it will run. I've already got it downloaded so it should ha work a bit quicker. And here we are, we now get a chat interface here on the command line. So let's give it another quick question. Now of course this is the classic, if it takes three hours for three towels to dry, how long does it take nine towels to dry? Uh, and the trap, of course, these uh, LLMs fall into is that if it takes three for three, then it must take nine for nine, basically. Not working out if you're kind of laying them out in the sun, for example, that they'll just take just the same amount of time. So let's see what answer it gives. Oh, a classic lateral thinking puzzle. It already knows about it. The answer is not a simple multiplication of the number of towels. The drying time doesn't depend on the number of towels, but rather on the characteristics of the towels and the drying process. So it knows it's not just going to be nine hours and it's now going to dive in uh, and try to talk about it a little bit and see what answer gets. But there you go, this is running on a Raspberry Pi 5. So you can see Llama 3, this latest open source model, this is the smaller version, there's a much, much larger version. Uh, you can run it on a Raspberry Pi, you can run it on your laptop, you can run it on your desktop, on a Mac. Uh, there are all these possibilities so that you can start using these things, experimenting with them and see uh, what you think of Llama 3 and of the other models. Okay, so there you have it, Llama 3 running locally on your PC, even running on a Raspberry Pi 5. Love to hear your thoughts on the Llama 3 model in general and also about running large language models on a PC, desktop or laptop, or whatever it is that you're using. Okay, my name's Gary Sims, this is Gary Space. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, then I invite you to stick around by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.